As always, what's going on young investors and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna hit you guys with five ways you can invest as a young individual and stick till the end of the video. I promise it's worth it. And as always, today's gem of the day. Whatever it is you guys wanna do, whether it's a YouTube channel, a podcast, or a business, just start and get better as you go. Stop trying to make things absolutely perfect or making excuses. I promise you won't get far if you do. Now, this is my 26th video, and it might not seem like I'm not that bad at this whole YouTube thing, but you can check out my very first few videos. My voice was low, I was talking slow, and I was nervous as hell, but I still did it. And uh, the cool thing is, I'm still learning now. Just start and dip your feet in and get better as you go. And finally, before we get into the rest of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It takes two seconds tops and it really does let me know that you guys are finding the information that I share with you helpful. And comment down below if there's any videos you guys would like to see. You already know I got you. And so with all of that out of the way, I really wanna get into the video, how to invest while you're young. Number one, invest in relationships. Start to get connected with people that are doing more than you, whether they're your age or not. You can only learn. I was so hungry for information that at the age of 16, I went to my local Schwab brokerage and I asked for information and spent hours taking notes and asking questions. I learned about the rules to investing, what it meant to be a shareholder, penny stocks, trading stocks, long-term investing, dividends. I asked every single question under the sun until this day. I'm so grateful that I took action. It's these types of connections and experiences that you can only learn from. Don't be afraid to ask questions, trust me. And so, number two, open a paper trading account. Learning about the stock market through books and videos is essential, don't get me wrong. But in my opinion, there's no better teacher than to actually be on the field. You can use a site that I personally use myself called Investopedia. Not only does Investopedia have the answer to almost every single investing question under the sun, it also lets you use their free stock market simulator. You'll be invested in the real stock market with fake money. You'll learn how to buy and sell stocks, how to research companies, and you'll see your companies go up and down in value. It's basically the real deal. And if you're 18 years or older, you can open up a real brokerage account to play around with. I'm pretty sure you guys can agree when I say this. You can only learn so much from watching other people do things. Jump into the game and learn yourself. It's gonna teach you things that nobody else will. And now, moving forward to number three. Start to build the skill that people need or solve a problem that people have. So many people don't know how to edit. You can become an expert and start charging people for your services. Another very popular trend that I think is here to stay is social media. I know for a fact that is a million dollar industry. People are willing to pay big bucks for you to help them grow their account. Look, real talk, there's no shortage of money out there. You really just gotta get creative and find a way. And so, moving on to number four, invest in books. You can invest in stock market, money management, psychology, or sociology books. There's tons of great ones to choose from. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Books have been absolutely crucial to my journey and I promise you they're well worth it. If you're not really sure which books to choose from, I recently made a video of my top five all-time favorite books. It's gonna be linked somewhere in the screen and in the description below. One of the best books in my opinion is The Richest Man in Babylon. No lie, I've probably read this thing at least five times, and I still catch more hidden gems of information every single time. It's not only one of my favorites, like I mentioned before, but it's also such a gem of a book. I'll have it linked in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. And last but not least, start to save money and learn money management skills. It doesn't even matter if you're rolling in cash. If you don't know how to manage it, you'll fumble the bag, trust me. Learn about assets, liabilities, how money works, what taxes are, and how to save your money as well. These are absolutely crucial and important skills that lots of adults don't even bother to learn about, let alone to use to their advantage. Money management, in my opinion, is right up there with earning more money. If you can't handle $1,000 or $10,000, what makes you think you can handle $100,000 when it eventually comes? This is a whole nother challenge than to just getting money. It's absolutely crucial in my opinion to learn the three how-tos, how to keep money, how to earn it, and how to multiply it. And that's the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. And remember, like and subscribe to the channel. It takes two seconds and it really does let me know that you guys are enjoying the content. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.